In this age of soaring national debt and no balanced budget in near sight, many are tempted to argue that we should tax religious organizations. They will argue that religious organizations are getting special treatment and that giving them this special treatment somehow violates the First Amendment. Well, this is a very ignorant assumption about tax law, because in reality, churches are not getting special treatment. And I'm going to argue now that not only does tax-exempt status for religious organizations not violate the First Amendment, but if we were to start taxing these churches, it would violate the 14th Amendment. Let me explain. Uh, the First Amendment says that Congress can make no laws respecting an establishment of religion. Well, religious organizations do not get tax-exempt status simply for being religious. They get tax-exempt status because they are nonprofit organizations. Charities, political groups, educational groups, scientific groups, and many others get the same tax-exempt status. They all fall under the 501c3 section of the tax code. So, simply giving churches tax-exempt status because they're non-profit, that does not violate the Establishment Clause. More importantly, if we were to start taxing the churches and not tax these other non-profit groups, that would violate the 14th Amendment Equal Protection Clause. We are guaranteed equal protection under the laws, and that has been applied in many ways uh, since that amendment was ratified. Um, most importantly, it was applied to end segregation in public schools, but it would also apply to equality for religious groups and non-religious groups. If we were to tax churches or any other religious group differently from other organizations, we would not be treating them equally, and that would violate the 14th Amendment.